This is not my first video of 2019, but I still want to say Happy New Year. I know I'm not allowed to anymore because it's already the 10th of January, but I just thought I would still say Happy New Year because I haven't done that. I don't really do New Year's resolutions. I like to write some things down that I want to achieve that year. I'm just not really committed to it. But this time I thought, why not break down 19 goals because it's 2019 and see what you can achieve. So into this video, I'm going to talk about my 19 goals for 2019. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited and let's just get started. Okay, so the first goal is to learn to love yourself and that sounds really cringe and like cliche i would say that's more just things like better self-confidence and just the things like that you know not compare yourself to others self-confidence and just things like that is really important and i would like to better that this year my second goal is to grow on youtube and my third goal is to grow on instagram i didn't really know what to think of this as a goal because honestly i kind of want to push myself to like actually set a goal and see if i can achieve that so i kind of did and for youtube i wrote down 10k for some reason i would think that i wouldn't achieve that because i'm only on 1.5k but on the other side i really want to push myself to actually reach something so i don't know i thought 10k would be a nice number let's see and for instagram my goal is also 10k yeah i am really getting more into the instagram the feed and just the pictures and stuff but i do have to say that i want 10k on instagram just to have this swipe up Thing. If I post on my story that I upload a new video, I can't do the swipe up thing. It's only possible if you have 10k and I want that. So I want 10k just to have that. <laughs> my fourth goal is to grow as a person. This is kind of the same thing as my first goal, but it's just get a lot of experience, just learn things, just just like self-growth. Just, I don't know, grow as a person. I don't think that really needs a lot of explaining. We're here for self-growth and self-love in 2019. My fifth goal is actually really important, which is keep a clean environment because that's just so much better for you just like you can focus more and just you're more productive i can tell that i'm more productive if my room is clean but my room is never clean so i really want to change that because i love having my room clean but it's just not clean because i never keep it clean but i would really like to change that because i want my room to be clean my sixth goal is to focus on school and by that i mean just prioritize school sometimes over youtube because i tend to prioritize youtube over school which i know is not really good but sometimes i just do i also just want to study more and do more homework and just do things like that just try my hardest to just do school. Seventh goal is kind of similar which is stop procrastinating because I tend to procrastinate a lot actually and I don't really like it because you don't get things done if you keep procrastinating and it's so annoying. And also stop being lazy. I can go a few days in my bed doing nothing like absolutely nothing. I can do that but I don't like it. Like I actually like doing stuff but sometimes I just can't get my lazy ass out of bed and I just I just watch Netflix all day. That's also nice for a day, but not for so many days. I just don't want to be so lazy anymore. My eighth goal is to travel more and I already know that's happening this year, which I'm really, really excited for. So do you guys want to know my travels? I don't know if I already mentioned them in like vlogmas or something. So first I'm going to Austria in February to go skiing with my family. Then in April I'm going to London for a week. Then in July I'm going to Spain for two weeks. Then I'm going on this interrail trip with my best friend. We're not 100% sure about like where we're going but this is probably it we have Paris, Switzerland, Milan, Milan, Milan? Is that how you pronounce it in English? I don't know, I only know the Dutch pronunciation. I think it's just Milan. Then Vienna, Budapest, Prague, and Poland. And then lastly, obviously in September, we have Canada, Toronto, and that's so, I'm so excited for that, honestly. I've always wanted to go there and I'm finally going there. Like, oh my God, I am excited. <laughs> so yeah, that's the travels for now. Hopefully I can go on another trip in like fall, October or something, or December with Christmas we will see but at least I'm traveling a lot and I love traveling so that's cool then my ninth goal which is actually already happening which is travel out of the continent I have never been out of Europe before but this year as I said I'm going to Canada Toronto to be exact it's just been a goal to travel out of Europe for once so I'm doing that I'm leaving Europe my next goal is to be more grateful and honest. I think I already am really grateful like I'm really thankful for all like the opportunities I get and the things I do but just being grateful is really important so my goal is just to be even more grateful than I already am. 
what's wrong with being grateful. My 11th goal is to go to more concerts and I hope I can because I really like concerts. Like live music is the best kind of music. I'm already going to six Shawn Mendes concert this year and that's the only concert I have planned. But I was thinking of going to Dean Lewis in London maybe. I will already be in London that day and like I really like him so maybe I will. The next goal I wrote down is to sleep more and this is really important because I, I don't sleep a lot. Well that sounds really weird but like I go to bed so late and then I have to wake up really early. I just, I want to try and sleep more and have like eight hours of sleep each night because that's just good for you. You're less tired. I don't know. That's just good for you. And why would you not want to have something that's good for you? My neighbors are watching me. I always forget that I'm like right in front of my window and like everyone outside can see me. It's kind of awkward, but you know, we just have to go with it. My next goal is to stop stressing so much. And I think this is a really important one for me personally. I get stressed really easily i never knew i did but i have been thinking about it a lot recently and i actually really do i can literally get stressed about the most stupid things and then i think about it and i'm like why did i get stressed about that like it's just literally bullshit i don't know when i get stressed i just cry like sometimes you just get a panic attack and it's just I really don't like being stressed. It's only causing more stress. When you're stressed, you get nothing done and you just fail most of the time, you know? So I just want to try and be less stressed and just don't put a lot of pressure on myself because I sometimes do that. And that's just not how it's supposed to be. This video is getting kind of personal. I didn't really mean to do that. <laughs> My next goal is to save more money or spend it smart. I just don't want to spend money anymore on things that I don't need. And that's basically the explanation of this goal. I just don't want to spend money on things I don't need. I just want to save money so I can spend it on things that I do need or things that I really like. And just saving money is just not really working for me. I'm kind of good at saving money, but I'm also really, really good at spending it. The next one is really stupid. Well, at least it sounds really stupid. It is to follow my dreams. And honestly, I do understand why people sometimes think I'm stupid because this sounds so stupid. But what I basically mean by this is to do what I want. I really love YouTube and I would really like to do it more. Like I have done it more over the past like weeks or like months but like a few years ago i never did because i was just worried what people think about it and i just thought of it that it would be stupid if i did but it's something i really want to do so that's what i mean with follow my dreams it's basically just doing what i want to do so i'm not letting other people's opinions like get in the way of me doing youtube and just going to concerts and traveling basically what i mean by follow your dreams is just do what you want to do. The 16th goal is to listen to more music. I already listen to a lot of music. I just want to listen to more like different music because lately I've been getting really into country music and I really like it. I kind of want to find more country artists and country music but also just other music. I love music. I want to have new music. So if you have any music recommendations, let me know, especially country. My next goal is to pass my first year of college because why would you want to fail a year of college? And I just want to pass. I'm not exactly sure if this is exactly the study I really want to do. Like the first year is basically everything put together. Most of the things we have done this year, I don't really like it. Like I'm just not really interested in it. Hopefully that will get better. Like I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep trying and just try to pass this first year and then we'll see. Like if it's really nothing for me, I will quit, but I don't know that yet because the first First year is just everything and then you like specialize in a part and I really want to specialize in media production so yeah we'll see my next goal is to get my driver's license I have a really good feeling about this because it's now January I don't really know what to explain that it's basically I have three exams basically first you have your theory exam which I passed two days ago I failed the first time in December and now I tried it again and I passed so that's really good and my driving instructor he sent me this thing where I had to sign up where I had to apply for this um, it's basically a driving exam but then it's not your real one um, the same but then the examinator he tells you what you can do better for your actual exam you know he tells you what to do better for your exam or he tells you what to not do for your exam and you also like with like those special things like parking especially if you do that right on your like fake exam you don't have to do them on your like actual exam which would be really good because then you only have to focus on actually driving and on the road and everything you know i don't know if that made any sense but i just want to pass my driving exam because i want to have my license so i can drive around instead of on my bike just kidding i love my bike but i just want to get my driver's license because i just think it's really useful and then my last goal is the most obvious one ever which is to have the best year of my life which is also really cliche but just have a good year i just want to have a good Year, which I am sure I will. I'm gonna be traveling a lot. I'm gonna go to concerts. I'm gonna try to do YouTube a lot. I'm just really excited for this year. I hope it brings me a lot of joy and just I'm excited. If you're excited for 2019, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your main goal for 2019. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.
，拜拜。